Hello? Hello? What's going on? Happy New Year! Happy New Year! What is going on 2013? Damn, you look good! You look mad cute 2013! Look at this idiot on his big bicycle. I don't understand those extra tall bicycles, because what if you fall? You will bust your ass. He's not even wearing a helmet. That's just dumb. You know what? Go ahead with your death wish. While we were at, in Florida, we went to a plantation tour house. Historic house tour. <laughs> they could have that shit. It was the smallest, tackiest plantation I've ever seen in my life. I was like, this is whack. You, if you want to go on a plantation tour and see the real deal, you need to go to South Carolina. Where they kept it real. This guy was a sorry ass. Anybody who, who can't make a business work with free labor, you know, he was just not cut out to be a slave owner. He was like the, un, the most unsuccessful slave owner in the history of Florida which is hysterical. I saw Jen go Unchained. You know, I've written a lot about it on Facebook. I wanted to, to be, I wanted to walk out feeling like, you know, Black Panther party reunion, but I didn't. It was okay. It was violent as all get out. It was mad violent. And... Very confusing emotionally. He had some violent stuff in there, and then all of a sudden it would be like some weird comedic relief. Like, it was just all over the place. I mean, I guess I'm happy he made it. I don't know. I really can't tell you. I really can't tell you what I feel, because I feel like I'm still processing it. And then yesterday, I saw Les Miserables, and literally... There were several moments where I was just like, can I leave now? Can I go now? Because it was, first of all, it was so long. And there was too much singing. You need to have some lines. Like, can we have at least one conversation where we're not singing? It was like watching the longest music video in the history of America. It was so long. But you know what? I will say Anne Hathaway's little song and her death scene. Sorry, spoiler alert. Um, she was amazing. She was good. And Hugh Jackman was great. Um, they were all really good. And the young guy, I forget. The one that the white guy with the black lips. Ah, you know, he was good too. But I was ready to leave. Like after Anne Hathaway's song, I was like, okay, that's why I came in here. I really didn't, I mean, I didn't walk out there like, wow, I didn't walk out there and moved. People were bawling. These people were bawling, like, bawling in the movie theater. And I was just, I got up, I was like, seriously? No. Bye. Ciao, bye. <laughs> that's how I felt. I don't know. It just not it's not for me and that's fine. All um, the white gay guy friends I have who love it, they, I I totally get it, but it was not for me. I just don't have the patience, and I just wasn't that you know. I just all I could think was these these white people look so nasty with their nasty jacked up teeth, and they call black people animals. Please, y'all look like a hot effing mess with your black brown teeth. Ugh. It was disgusting. Oh, psh. okay. I am so disappointed with the films. I saw, um, this is 40. <laughs> no, no, no. First of all, it was two hours long. No comedy needs to be that long, Judd Apatow. And second of all, next time I want to pay $12 for watching people fight, I'll pay myself and videotape my wife and I arguing because let me tell you, it would be funnier than what that shit was. 
was so annoying. And I just had no sympathy for the characters. Like, they were so annoying to each other and just inherently that I was like, you deserve to be with each other and fight. Like, I couldn't even take it. And then I saw Silver Linings Playbook. <laughs> I mean... I can't. Now I guess I gotta go see The Hobbit. Maybe The Hobbit will be worth the $12. But probably not. I'm not going to, I'm not paying to see The Hobbit. <laughs>